Hey folks, Chris once again, and welcome back to another video. This time, as another video on another request, this time from uh, QJC yet again. And he wanted me to review a movie, an anthology, and I actually got it to yesterday, which was just on the haul video, and I'll go get it right now. It's called, um, Hell Block 13. And it's hard to see the cover, but, uh, there's the inside. You can't see that either, but that's inside of the desk, or inside of the cover. It actually comes with a little book, a little, um, pamphlet. And it's a trauma movie, so you can, you can buy a bunch of other trauma movies with this. You can actually order a bunch of trauma movies on VHS, um, with this catalog, which is pretty cool. But, let's just get into it. It's called Cowboy 13. It's basically a horror anthology. I can't remember what year it was made. But, uh, me and my mom watched it, um, last night, and... We liked it a little bit. I mean, it wasn't the best movie in the world. I mean, there was definitely a lot of issues with this movie. Um, but we enjoyed it. Um, it's basically... Oh my god, is there even any information? There's literally nothing of this movie on YouTube. No reviews, no trailer, nothing. So let me look it up on... IMDB is called Hellbug Hell. Because, yeah, this movie is like nowhere to be found on YouTube or any of that shit. Which is funny and weird. Yeah, it was made in 1999, so pretty old. It has stars Gunnar Hansen, Debbie Rochin, and John Miller. And, um, yeah, and that's, it's basically a horror anthology about this, about this girl who's in, like, the cell, and this guy's on the other side talking to her, and the, I, I think this movie has, like, yeah, it has four stories, I think. The first one is about this woman who's in bed. And I just keep hearing voices in the room. And she literally goes outside. Okay, she goes outside. And she basically goes in this lake. She goes to this canoe. And there's like this really creepy, really looking, great looking practical effect where it's like a zombie girl with like a pulsating cheek right there, like a heart. And she basically drafts her down there and it was a dream but this time she goes to the um canoe this time and nobody's there but then the, the girl's that girl's boyfriend goes up there and a zombie comes back and she basically beats beats him to death with some kind of rope with a rock on it and she bashes it in his head. It's a pretty um, well done scene. It's very graphic. Um, and then she finds him dead on, in the canoe and the zombie girl comes out. There's two of them this time and they stab her in the chest. And then the next morning these guys find their bodies and boom, that was the first segment. Which I like it. I like this. I like this. It had some pretty creepy scenes and Definitely some good tension to it, and the zombies look really cool. All right, this next one, um, it's hard hard to explain. Um, see, how do I explain this? It's about this woman and her husband. It starts with a girl with a black eye, the one with a black eye, and she covers it with meat because it helps. Then her dumb dickhead of a husband comes in 
It's like you you ruined my me by putting on your nasty ass side and he punches her in the face. There's a bloody nose. Um then and then he's pissed because his dinner isn't done. So then he um beats her with a belt. Then she goes to this I guess this woman, whatever the fuck it is. I mean it's basically it looks like I don't explain it's, it's like a deformed woman. It looks like an old man, but it's like a big, it's like a marshmallow face and nasty fingers. I'm not sure what this thing's supposed to be, but the makeup looks great. Um, he basically, he or she, whatever the hell it is, basically gives her the woman who got a black eye, he gives her this, excuse me, this. God, excuse me, got the hiccups. Um, Mason gets her this, um, salute this, this stuff. Put it's like this green shit. She puts in the chicken, and she gets she feeds it to the guy, and he base the effects look great on this scene. He like his face like bubbles and it like contorts and it like bubbles and all that shit. And he turns into like, and he wraps up with her like the Incredible Hulk. Next morning, the woman finds him, and the guy literally knocks up the woman's head into the freezer. And that's basically the story. I like that. this. This is probably one of the my least favorites, but I still liked it. It was very dark. The ending was like fucked up, but in a good way. Um, that's basically that one. Um, is there... Sorry, I barely remember me because I'm tired of shit. Is that basic? Yeah, there's the... the... I think the... Yeah, there's four of them. There's this one, the first two I just mentioned, this, this one, and then the wrap-up at the end. So in this one, it's basically these bikers who basically um dig up his dead body and it's a fake looking it's it's basically a fake looking it looks like a sex doll but if it was a zombie and they put it on this cross where the grace of the person is and they give it a ritual they party they have sex you've seen where these two women take out their clothes and then you show their tits and they're kissing each other which <laughs> was kind of pretty uh you get so you got some eye candy right there which is awesome like uh, that one is probably within um so then they they slice their hands open they put in this cup and they pour it on the dead body and the one, one of the guys have like has like a dream where it turns to like this sexy woman that stabs him, but it was a fake dream. And then it um, um, sorry, my tracks. Um, it basically it basically comes to life, but this time it looks like the body. And it cuts his hand off and stabs him and kills him. And they find the body next morning. And um, then it cuts to the woman in the cell. She's telling all these stories to this guy. And uh, she basically kills herself, the girl in the cell. And then he comes back to life with the spirit. And cuts the guy, cuts the guy with him in the cell. He cuts his, she cuts his head off. And she's like, catch him, throws out the guy. And um, and it catches up that girl's body, and that was, and that's the movie. <laughs> it's basically a love letter to trauma lovers, and yeah, this movie was very weird, very bizarre, but I mean, I kind of enjoyed it to be honest. I thought it was really, it was cheesy, 
it was corny, it was just kind of dumb. But I enjoyed it, I thought it was a decently made movie, and if any of you are child fans or even Gorehounds, you would love this movie, like... I mean, this bait, and by the way, there's a dead dog on this movie, which was on the back cover, so just watch out for that. Um, but yeah, if you haven't seen the movie, I recommend it. It was really good, especially for Halloween. Um, tomorrow, I might or might not go see Firestarter, but I'll see what happens. Um, what do you think about Hell Block 13 not down in the comments below? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think it sucks? Do you think it's good? What do you think about it? Um, I gotta say, the acting isn't that good <laughs> by the woman in the cell, but her with the severed head, I, her, her laughing kind of got on my nerves, but oh well, it's a trauma movie. But yeah, uh, 11 minutes, holy shit, <laughs> I was talking for 11 minutes. Um, what do you think of this movie down below? Do you, have you seen it? What do you think about it? So thanks for watching, guys. Take care. See you guys in the next one. We'll see you later, guys. Peace.